Hey, yo, Philly. Welcome to the 4 for 4 report. Tonight, I want to talk about the Sixers and the winning streak they're on, where they sit in the standings right now, and who they would play if the playoffs started today. Now, as you may know, the Sixers are on an eight-game winning streak right now. Joel Embiid's playing out of his mind. They moved out to the two seed, but still have a chance to catch the Bucks for the one seed. Now, being the two seed means right now, if the playoffs started today, we would play the Miami Heat. <laughs> That's bad news, you know, if recent history tells you anything. I mean, the Heat own us. For some reason, the Heat and the Celtics just give us the most problems. Now, this year, we're 1-1 one one against the Heat. With our lone win being without Joel Embiid. Figure that one out. I want to talk about some things that, if the Sixers do play the Heat in the playoffs, some things that need to change from when we played them last year. Now, we all know Embiid missed the first two games in Miami. That didn't help shit. You know, that put us behind. Those games weren't even close. Miami's defense was the best defense in, in basketball last year. We just couldn't get nothing done. Harden had a good game too, but it wasn't enough. I think if we had Embiid, we'd have possibly won that series. Or at least took it to seven. But I think we would have won. James Harden, a couple things. He got outplayed last year. He didn't hustle enough. And his defense was worse than it usually is. You know, every every time every time he didn't try to hit the step back, he would drive the lane, try to draw the foul, and then try to finish. Now to give him credit, this year he's trying to he's trying to finish without drawing the foul and he's letting the fouls come to him. Because the referees are on that now. I mean, Harden is the reason that the referees look for that type of shit. It's not gonna work anymore. Now, like last year, Embiid, when he was in, he made Bam out of value a non-factor. You know, Bam wasn't aggressive against Embiid when he was playing offense. You know, he, he floated out in the perimeter. He wanted no parts of JoJo. They got to do that again. And with Embiid down low, I'm sure it will happen again. Sixers had zero answer for Jimmy Butler. I mean, their perimeter defense... They, the Sixers have no perimeter defenders that I believe can stop Jimmy Butler. That's going to be a problem. So they're going to have to do it with hustle and tight zones because they can't man up with him. He has it out for us ever since we supposedly picked Tobias Harris over him in free agency a couple years ago. But they need to find an answer for Jimmy. Harden has to be more aggressive, not just settling for threes. Like I said, really drive the ball and try to finish. That's their only shot. You know, he has to be aggressive. Whether he finishes or not, he has to be aggressive. You know, that, that'll take some attention off JoJo. I mean, JoJo's been, you know, triple and quadruple teamed in the last few games, and they haven't been able to stop him. So imagine if you take some pressure off of him with James Harden. I think that would be a I think that would be big. Now the Sixers this year, just to do a comparison, are third in offensive rating, seventh in defensive rating, and third in net rating, which means the difference between offensive rating and defensive rating. The Heat, by example, are 25th in offensive rating, 6th in defensive rating, still a good defensive team, no surprise there, and 22nd in net rating. Now, like I said, the Heat gives Sixers problems. They just do. So you can, you know, the Heat aren't as good as they were last year, 
but they still give us problems. So those adjustments have to be made. But yeah, Embiid, during this eight-game winning streak, I mean, you know, in the middle of this eight-game winning streak, I thought, you know, Embiid was the MVP. I just, I just think he's, I just think he's better than Jokic. Um, besides assist and field goal percentage, he does everything better than Jokic. Um, scores more. He's fourth in defensive rating. I mean, I, I, I really don't. I, I never got Jokic being the front runner all season at all. But I made a video about that before. So, yeah, what do you feel about the Sixers right now? The winning streak they're on? How JoJo's playing? Being number two in the East? Do you think they can catch the Bucks for the for the number one seed? And what do you feel about playing Miami again? What do you think needs to change? But, yeah, this is Kenzo with another 4 for 4 report. Please like the video if you like the video. Please subscribe. I, I would appreciate it. Help this 4 for 4 community grow. Come be a part of the community. Until next time, this is Kenzo. 4 for 4. All day.